Yo, what is going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how you can get this really cool freeze frame zoom out transition. Now this is super simple and helps you join together two different clips and I think it is a fun little effect that you can do. So without wasting too much time, let's just get right into it. Now you can see in our timeline we have two different clips. I think the second clip is going to work way better for our transition because as you can see, as he's bringing his hands together over here, we can sort of use that as our mask. So I'm just going to pick a moment that I think works best. And I'm going to duplicate our clip and then right click, hit time, and then freeze frame. And on our freeze frame clip, I'm going to select the pen tool and just make a little mask that we're going to use for our transition. You can obviously be as detailed as you want. I'm going to do mine pretty quick just since it's for the tutorial, but you might want to take a little bit of time on yours. Now, if you hit M on your keyboard with that layer selected, you're going to have this dialog box. I'm going to hit inverted. And once you get over here, it's a good opportunity to just kind of go in and clean up your mask a bit. And then if you drill down, you can actually adjust the feather a little bit just to make it so it's not as harsh edges. And also play with the edge expansion a little bit as well. And you can just kind of fine tune any points from there. But I think this will work for the sake of this tutorial. So now we can zoom out a little bit and we can turn our bottom layer back on. And I'm just going to move this mask so that it covers about 10 frames or so of our original clip. And you can kind of just play around with it depending on, you know, what footage you're working with. And then I'm just going to make sure that the mask ends as our motion comes back. That's good. I'm just going to move mine a little bit around. And I'm going to select that this layer is 3D and I'm going to turn motion blur on. And then as I drill down to transform and position, I'm going to set a keyframe and I'm just going to drag this to the end of the clip. And then I'm going to go over to the left and I'm going to just start playing with some of these points. You're just going to want to make sure that your mask is in the center of the frame. So. As I sort of zoom it out a little bit, I'm just going to kind of make sure that it's relatively in the center. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. I think just moving it to the left a little. And we can just easy ease these keyframes really quick. And just like that, we already have a fun little transition. Honestly, you could probably use that on its own, depending on if you're combining a bunch of other effects or how you sort of want to go about it. But another thing that can help make this a little bit of fun too, is if you go onto that bottom layer, and if you just also select making it a 3D layer, and uh, well, actually you don't even need to make it a 3D layer, you could just use this with position and scale. So if you just set a keyframe, and have the position and scale of these start at 100 and in its normal position. And then if, as it is getting smaller, you just make your position something like 80%, and then you adjust your position so that your subject is still kind of in the center of the frame until the transition's over. And then I'm easy using these keyframes. And you're just gonna wanna make sure that as it's scaling down that you don't have any transparent sections like this. So I'm just going to adjust this scale so this starts just a little bit later. Same thing with the position. And you're just going to want to kind of scrub through frame by frame a little bit and just make sure that you're not losing any of your image. And then just like that, we can play this and see what we got. 